shit? You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. It'd suck if you missed right now. It sure would. But I don't miss. There you go. All right, thanks. Uh, Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy -o. You remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. <laughs> but there's got to be something. The guards see us making for that cross. But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. That'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. There's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signora. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosa. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? <laughs> that will work. All right, all right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. All right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right, listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. You gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. Not chuck it up, still on me. Excuse me. Billy? Are you kidding me? Hell no. Upon return, I begin the bidding on several items in the state of Sydney Collection. In the meantime, I'll start. You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp. Or at least a possible French accent. 
But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we uh, yeah, obtained last year. You know, those hanging all thing. I don't know actually. I can't share. <coughs> Non sapevo che avessi iniziato anche tu nel ramo immobiliare. Scusami se ti faccio perdere tempo. Figura, figura. Ok, è la prima volta che viene. Sam is just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Scusi? Good evening to you. Uh, this is the dogs. 
see my accent on the train today once again. Last time I have had a much more I sense. Professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. Feels so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run-in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. I lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Goons. this locked of course okay plan B I 
told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. Fence up there. Huh. Nate, go check this out. Here we go. Let there be light. I'd like to go in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a. F yeah, that'll do. It's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Dead end. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. <sighs> That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that something tells me that's not gonna fly. Victor's chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Good job. Look, the vents. That's our way out. Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Holding a lighter. <sighs> okay, up we go. Right there. A bit smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Looks like my size too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. Okay. Ugh. 
Valeu. Valeu. Curano tutta Cosa? questa roba. Sono pezzi rubati ai ricettatori. Sì. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? What? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, it must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilian, Sam. What? Right. So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, when in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. Not at <laughs> Sam, you there? <clears throat> Sam? Sully? <clears throat> Great.
Okay, just like riding a bike. Several hundred feet in the air. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> I recognize someone. No. I thought I did, but no. Hey, when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. No, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? 10 years, 12? 15. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job.